This is the perpendicular lines tutorial. There are a couple important things that you need to know about perpendicular lines. The first theorem that you should know about is this. If there are two lines that are within the same plane and they are both perpendicular to one line, then they are parallel to each other. So let's take a look at the diagram and I'll show you what we're referring to. Let's say that you have two lines in the same plane. So the plane that we're referring to is the screen of your monitor. And the two lines that we're referring to are lines Y and line Z. And now let's say that both line Y and Z are perpendicular to a line, in this case, line X. And you can tell that they're perpendicular because we've indicated that with the red boxes. Now if both lines Y and Z are perpendicular to one line, line X, then they must be parallel to each other. So we can draw in some parallel symbols here to those two lines, y and x, right there. That's the first important theorem that you should know about in dealing with perpendicular lines. The next theorem that you should be aware of is that if a transversal is perpendicular to one line and a pair of parallel lines, then it must also be perpendicular to the other. So the pair of parallel lines that we're referring to in this case are lines y and z, which you can see are parallel. So if this transversal, x, is perpendicular to one of those lines, as you can tell with that red perpendicular uh, square there, then it must also be perpendicular to the other line. So we could draw in a little red box there as well to indicate that x is perpendicular to z. So if x is perpendicular to y and y and z are parallel, then x must also be perpendicular to line z. So that's the second important theorem. The last theorem that I'd like to talk to you about is this. If two congruent angles that form a linear pair are created by the intersection of two lines, then those two lines are perpendicular to each other. So in this case, the two lines that we're referring to are lines y and x. At the intersection of line y and x, we have two angles created. This angle on the right, indicated by the red 90 degrees, and this angle right here on the left. Now, because the angle on the right is 90 degrees, we know that the angle on the left here is going to be 90 degrees as well. However, if you were just told that those two angles that were formed were congruent to each other and a linear pair, you would automatically know that they're 90 degree angles. So if no one gave you that little red box and told you they were 90, you would know from that statement that they were congruent and they formed a linear pair. Because for them to be congruent, that means they have to be equal. And if they form a linear pair, that means they have to be added up to 180 degrees. Their sum must be 180. So if your sum is 180 and there are two of you and you're the exact same thing each, then you must be 90 degrees. So that's the last theorem, that if any two lines intersect to form two congruent supplementary angles, then those two lines must intersect perpendicularly to each other.